Weather News Meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Start you out in G-Town, uh, Bob Fredo, Ford World, Kim. Nice to see they added the third digit there, gas 279 at the country fair. Main Street looking good, everything dry, no big problems with precipitation. We like to do weather in pictures, so good to see the sunshine today. Thanks, Laura in Edinburgh. She said it almost looked like water with the blue sky there. And thanks to Chris, he says, uh, this bird is ducking the ice. And that's the other side of the weather coin. Uh, sun today, a little bit of ice tonight. And you can't get much closer to the normal with a high of 34 and a low of 19. No precipitation. And if you look at the snowfall, we're about four inches below normal for the month and still an even 13 below normal for the year. Not a lot of snow in the system. We'll get to that in a second. It's the freezing mix late tonight and tomorrow. Occasional flakes after that and very cold the rest of the week. So if you look at the temperatures ranging from the upper 20s from LaRue and Greenfield to near freezing Dave and West Springfield. So all the temperatures slowly falling after those partially clear skies. 33 Janet and Cambridge, 34 Westmead Township, 36 Titusville. Out in Saybrook, Gary, right at freezing. Gene and Scandia already down at 28. So the stage is set. You can see snow, freezing mix, rain, okay? And as this works its way north, look at the temperatures right here, all near freezing or below. But you've got that kind of contrast in precipitation. When you're cold from the cloud base to the ground below freezing, you get snow. When you mix in this warm layer aloft, you melt the snow into rain, but you got enough cold at the surface here to refreeze the liquid into the solid ice when it hits. And that's the main concern for tonight, not only on vehicles, but on treated surfaces. So uh, especially the morning rush, but not a lot of ice or snow. Now, everybody's under winter weather advisories. They kick in after midnight. They end in New York State at 7 p.m., Warren and McKean, 4 p.m., a little bit earlier. Erie and Crawford, 1 p.m. tomorrow, and late morning, Mercer, Venango. So what we're expecting is up to one-tenth of an inch of ice with this thing, and that is more of a slippery surface problem than a power outage problem. Up to two inches of snow, so as I said, not a lot of snow and ice. Then you can see this thing come north. Sometimes it'll take a break in the middle of the night. Then you get the pink, and then you get the green indicating rain. So eventually most of the area will be scoured out. How about forecast road temperatures? Now this is for untreated surfaces. They're all below freezing as you go into tomorrow. So be careful for sidewalks, overpasses, and parking lots as this system slides through uh, tomorrow night and goes away on Wednesday. Now behind it, look at this. It's a cold northerly flow from Canada. So although the snow is not particularly well organized, the cold is for the rest of the week. Jet pinpoint for Erie and the Lakeshore, 26 to 30 tonight. That late freezing mix probably around or after midnight. Similar for Southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, and Venango. Snow or freezing rain toward and after midnight, 25 to 29. Mountains to the east, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean. Freezing rain mix and some snow after midnight, 22 to 26. So watch the morning rush, but at least in the afternoon we get the temperatures above freezing. Tomorrow night, no advisories, but still some nuisance precipitation around. And as we go through the rest of the week, watch the temperatures tumble. Now, we've got snow in each day, but it looks mainly light for most of us. 29 Wednesday, 25 Thursday, 23 for a high on Friday, break day Saturday, a rebound Sunday and Monday, those days, perhaps with some rain or snow showers and getting above freezing. Seven-day cameras and interactive radar all on the website, your Erie. Sean and Joe.